the musical of Chicago. First a Broadway musical with Jerry Arbach, and then a movie with Richard Gere. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the only non-gangster in the entire production. Hello? Can you hear me? Is anybody listening? Hello? That's the story of my life. Nobody ever listens to me. Nobody. You can't make this up. Nobody ever notices me. My parents, they never notice me. One day, I went to school, and when I came home, they had moved. <laughs> If someone stood up in a crowd and raised their voice up way out loud, waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice him. If someone in a movie show yelled, fire, fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg, you'd notice him. And even without clucking like a hen, Everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that personage should be invisible, inconsequential. Me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, because you can walk right by me, look right through me, and never know I'm there, I tell you, cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, should have been my name, Mr. Cellophane, cause you can look right through me, walk right by me, and never know I'm there. Suppose you was a little cat residing in a person's flat who fed you fish and scratched your ears. <laughs> you notice him. Suppose you was a person wet and sleeping in a double bed beside one woman for seven years. You notice him. A human being's made of more than air. With all this bulk, you're bound to see him there. Unless that human being next to you is unimpressive, undistinguished, you know. Another round for John.